Hey guys, welcome back to Math Class. Today we are going to do a little reviewing of how to solve one-step equations. So when we're solving one-step equations, we're looking for an unknown. So let's review some vocabulary. First, we have variable. A variable is a letter that represents an unknown. So like 5x, the x here is the variable. It's my unknown. I don't know what x is yet. Another vocab word to know is inverse operation. Inverse operation. Inverse operation is doing the opposite. So the opposite of adding is to subtract. The opposite of multiply is to divide and vice versa. So the opposite of subtraction is addition. The opposite of division is multiplication. So when I'm solving one step equations, I'm going to work backwards. When we do, well, never mind. So let's just jump right in. Step one What operation is between the number and the variable? So let's look at an example. If we had, um, 42 equals 7x. So identify the operation. Identify the operation. So between the 7 and the x, what is that? Is that 7 times x? Is that 7 divided by, added to, subtracted from? When there's no sign, it's multiply. So this is multiplication. So my answer here is multiply. What is the opposite of multiply? Division. So step two, I'm going to do the inverse or opposite on each side of equal sign. I highly recommend finding your equal sign and drawing a line down because that's going to, oh, that's a squiggly line. That's going to tell you left side, right side. So whatever I do on this side, I have to do on this side because they're equal and equal means the same. So if you add seven to the left side, you have to add seven to the right side. So what is the opposite of multiplying? Dividing. So what I'm going to do on each side to show division, I'm going to draw a line under both sides. And the opposite of multiplying by 7 is to divide by 7. So I'm going to divide both sides by 7. Now, the goal of solving equations is to get the variable alone to find out how much is 1x. So I have 7x's and I want to know how much is 1x. So if I do 7 divided by 7, what is 7 divided by 7? That's 1. So the way we do that is we're going to do this. Cross them both out. And if it's just 1x, I can just write x. If there's no number, that's just 1x. So step three is to solve. So 42 divided by 7 is 6. So 6. Now, I highly recommend, here is the part about, this is algebra-ish. It's pre-algebra. Um, but what I really like about it is you can check your work to figure out if you're doing it right. So step four, check your answer. Check 
your answer. Please check your answer. So if X is 6, what is 7 times 6? It is 42. So you plug your X value back into the equation to see if 7 times 6 is 42. All right, let's do some examples. All right, the first one, I've got X over 3 or divided by 3 equals 18. All right, the variable is X. What operation is happening right here? It's dividing by 3. What is the opposite of dividing by 3? Multiplying by 3. The way I'm going to show that is doing times 3 times 3 on both sides. And then this is over 1. And so I end up with 3x over 3 because top times top and bottom times bottom. And then 3 divided by 3 is 1. What is 18 times 3? 54. And now let's check it. What is 54 divided by 3? It is 18. So I got it right. All right, let's look at another one. If I have 3 plus x equals 15, what is the operation happening here? I'm adding 3. So even though it goes backwards, I'm still adding 3 to x. What is the opposite of adding 3? Subtracting 3. So I am going to my... Oh, I forgot to draw my line. So I'm going to minus 3 over here and minus 3 over here. 3 minus 3 is 0, so I cancel those out. I'm left with the x. What is 15 minus 3? 12. And now let's check. What is 3 plus, oops, yeah, 3 plus 12? is 15. Yeah. So this one works too. All right, let's do another one. I'm trying to hit all the operations. If you have 7x equals 91, what's the operation? It's multiplying. What's the opposite? We're going to divide. So I'm drawing my line. I show division by drawing a line under both sides. What number is going to go underneath that line? What do I divide by? I divide by the coefficient. This is the coefficient. So I divide by 7 on both sides. 7 divided by 7 is 1 because we did that up top. So this is x. What is 91 divided by 7? 13. Now let's check. What is 7 times 13? It is 91. So that one's right. All right, last example. We did division. We did addition. We did multiplication. The only thing left is subtraction. If I have x minus 4 equals 12, x minus 4 equals 12, what's the operation? We're going to, it's, it is subtracting 4. What is the opposite of subtracting 4? Adding 4. So we're going to add 4 on both sides. A negative 4, remember if we do this, a negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So those cancel. I'm left with x on the left side. And what is 12 plus 4? 16. Now let's check. What is 16 minus 4? It is 12. All right, you are ready to go. Good luck. I will see you guys next time.